Why do people want a global trucks then? Um, well, I think people would like to drive Australia, Canada, North and South America, Europe. Um, there's lots of places people want to go. I think the best one would be India. <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine India trucks in? That would be like my summer car. You know, your truck would be really old and the AI would be driving on the wrong side of the road like almost all the time. It would be fascinating. There'd be no lines on the roads and stuff. It'd just be amazing. Driving around in your like rickety old trucks. Especially night driving in India. Wow. Do you think they should connect ATS and ETS as one game? It's difficult to see how they could, but put it this way, what you could do is you could bring out a global truck sim, yeah, just call it, I don't know, truck simulator, let's say. You could bring that out and then have North America or parts of North America as a DLC and parts of Europe as a DLC. So you could pick which one you want to go. Um, and if you've already bought the previous games, well, we'll maybe get a massive discount or something like that. I think that's the only way you can do it. You can't go around renaming these games, I don't think. Yeah, some of the roads in South America will be amazing. It's the same with Australia, though. <clears throat> like, if they do Australia, they need to do the road trains. <clears throat> are we going in here? No, we're not, are we? Should go around there somewhere. Yeah, but the thing with Australia is like, yeah, they'd have very, very long roads um, in the outback. And they'd have to add stuff to it to stop it from being boring. Because things happen on the way, you know? Occasionally, like, the roads will be flooded. Or there'll be, like, animals crossing the road. Or you, your truck will overheat. Just random stuff. Yeah, kangaroos, exactly. Um, okay. Let's hope this trailer connects a bit better. Yep, like a dead moose on the side of the road in my summer car, exactly. How's the last delivery? Yeah, it went okay. Oh, come on. I'm slightly off. Really? I pulled forward and it connected. In what universe does that work? Dr. D, thank you for the resume. OS4. First B day, thanks for the great content and community. Thank you for 12 months, OS4. Um, Alpha Mike Foxtrock, six months. Keep up the good work. Thank you. That was weird. Pull forward and the uh, pin engaged. Should we miss that? It's 
it's a reverse fifth wheel. Yeah, that, that would explain why I can't connect it. Uh, do you get the message when you sub by Amazon Prime by you? Ooh, I'm not sure what you mean, Eagle First. Are you asking if I get a message or you get a message? So what what you need to do, Eagle Fist, because you've subbed with Amazon Prime. If you've got if you've got like a mobile phone with a calendar in it, put a reminder in for about 30 days from now. Which and you can set like a recurring reminder. Set the recurring reminder every 30 days. And then set it to say something like Amazon Prime subscription renew. Because Amazon will not tell you when your subscription ends. Because what you've just done, Eagle Fist, is you've just got a free subscription for 30 days to my channel, right? In 30 days, that will expire, but Amazon and Twitch will not tell you. <laughs> so you need to set up your own calendar to tell you. And then go and either resub back to me or subscribe to somebody else. But if you don't use it, it's just a benefit you're not using and no streamer is going to benefit from that. Yeah? That's how it works, unfortunately. car just like not even changing lane at all just rather stop uh snake below thank you for the resume what delivers this uh this is wait a sec let's try about a bit slower this is 22 tons of large tubes to ottawa so it's not too far it's only what 200 k's so we're basically going south down from Trondheim. Ottawa, however you say it, Ottawa. Otter, out Otter. There we go. I misread it. Otter. Not Ottawa. <laughs> Otter. What's my FPS? Over 9,000. Notifications are on spatial. Cool. <laughs> now, Eagle Fish, do you know the question? You know, you know the answer to that question. When is door coming on? What is the answer, Eagle? Steer all eighteen months. Woohoo! Thanks for your great streams. Keep up the awesomeness. Thank you, Steerol. Cosford was good. Pretty much the same as last year. Exactly, Captain Flint. When he feels like it. Exactly right. Any new sim games coming that you like the look of, DJ? Uh, Mudrunner. It's only a few weeks away.
Gold Rush. Uh, Gold Rush the game. Uh, I didn't actually play it, so I don't know. I don't know if I should be excited or not. Wouldn't Dog rather take a nap? He's been sleeping all afternoon. <laughs> Yeah, it's spin size, DJ. Spin size, mud runner. I think he does, Heyman. I, I reckon he probably sleeps at least 18 hours a day. So it's, it's unbelievable. It really is. <laughs> How can they sleep so much? Oldest door, seven. <clears throat> seven years old. He was born in. Um... Actually, if you run the B Day command, it'll tell you when Dor was born. <laughs> Might sound like the dual trucker. Can't wait for Mud Runner. Um, you have it in your Steam ready to go live. Yeah, it's going to be good. You tried the double try off the first time and you couldn't park it. Just need a bit of practice. Yeah, Scania 143 is a good mod, McCroony. Um, I guess so, DJ. I don't know. As long as it's good. <laughs> Which I think it will be. Take a photo. A mod supporter from day one. Don't know. I. It's unlikely they'll remove mod support, but whether they'll have it in day one, who knows? Stupid lamppost. Lamppost is spoiling the photograph. Uh oh, 50. Oh, yeah, yeah. When's your birthday and when is Mr. Squirrel's birthday? Eagle Fist. I'm sure that's in the birthday command. Top. Speaking of Mrs. Squirrel. Huh? I wasn't talking about it. <laughs> Uh, Peterbilt, iRacing is working on Pitcro animations. It's in development. They got third second video. I know I've seen it, but it'll be mostly be on the NASCAR stuff initially, which I don't tend to play. <laughs> Yoshi, just don't, bro. <laughs> There's no birthday command. Uh, let's see. Move my cup of tea. Uh, what is it now? I can't remember the name of it. Um, let me look through. Unless the mods know what it is. There is a command. I remember adding it. Back. 
got like it's called anniversary or something. What's it called, mods? I'm trying to think. That's bugging me now. Until B day. Yeah, that's it. That's it. It's until. Um, it's something like until, although I don't see that either. Where's it gone? Until B day has your birthday, uh, Mrs. Squirrel and Doyle. Exactly. I knew it existed. I was going crazy then. <laughs> uh, Benna, hello, Paul. The truck you are driving right now is as long as my truck. The problem is that it's too long for the type of trailer you have on there. They are built for tip trailer or concrete trailer. Um, well, here's the thing, Benna. Here's the thing, buddy. When you pick a truck in your truck and then you go to job market, the job market doesn't filter out trailers that are inappropriate for your truck, so you can take whatever. In real life, you wouldn't go, you know, taking a bunch of tubes to um, macro, but you can do that in things like your truck. <laughs> you can do crazy stuff. Uh, Kokalu, thank you for the resume. I mean, you can also pick up oversized trailers on a truck that's not capable of hauling it. It'll let you do that, too. Hey, Salish King. Oh, this is a nice drive. Look at this. Just following the water between the valley. That is nice. Our customer expects delivery very soon. Yeah, I can legally buy beer, Sven. It's ridiculous. See if we can get a photo now. That Wally's amazing. I do like the Wally. Let's get some pixelated grass on the photo. <laughs> look at that. Let's look at those graphics. GTX 1080 Ti rendering right there. Look at that. Oh, Craig has some graphics. How far have we got? 65Ks. Uh oh. Resembles the aloe vera plant. Work and not find when birthday is, Eagle Fist. What, my birthday? Or Doyle's birthday? Or what? What are you after? Maybe you're getting a cold, Sven. Hey, Mrs. Squirrel put the heating on two weeks ago. Do you not remember last week she came in going, it's so cold in the house. And I was like, what about a jump wrong? <laughs> uh, 
this road is about to get quite twisty. One question, Paul. When is this on Squirrel Plus? It should be on Tuesday. Although maybe we can get it there tomorrow. Possibly. Rip. You're still using the air... <laughs> what? Really? You're using the aircon in Ontario. Wow. I think at night it's probably getting down to almost single figures here. the McLaren will be using a Renault engine next year. Uh, I've not read that yet, no. But, actually, or did I read that? No, I think I did read that. But I thought they had about another three years on their contract with Honda because when I was down in Monaco for the Grand Prix, and I was talking to the McLaren guys, and they were saying, well, the contract with Honda is for another three years. Three or four years, so they must have cancelled it. engine and Merck. No, Renault engine and McLaren. Uh, they cancelled the contracts and apparently offered a driver most likely button. Hmm. It's going to be interesting. Toro Rosso will get Honda engines. Yeah, Honda's fallen behind. Like, ever since they started to focus on, like, the kinetic stuff, like the electric stuff inside, um, Honda's really struggled with that. Like, they got caught behind. Hammock on Rye with 30 months. Uh, been a great 30 months. Looking forward to the next 30. Thank you, Hammock. Someone say VTEC. Nobody said VTEC. Well, all VTEC is is variable valve timing trends in fan. It's nothing to do with the uh, kinetic stuff. What's a meme? Did you ever play Juggernaut on the Specky? Uh, I can't honestly remember. <laughs> Virgin Trains East Coast. <laughs> Is that what VTEC stands for? Then? Rip stream? Oh dear. Who's gone to TwitchCon? Not me. I've gone the right way here, actually. This doesn't feel right. Nope, this is the hotel. 
A scumbag game told me to turn left on the sat nav. It look, it literally led me down this road. Can you believe that? Look. Completely well you can't see it. Completely conned. Completely and utterly conned. Don't blame me. Blame the sat nav, look at that. Unreal. Can we drive all the way around? Yep, I just got tom tom No, I can't drive all the way around. Yes, I can. And go this way. I presume we just go straight past then. Extra crispy. Thank you for the resume. GNC straight on. Gin and Sonic is here. Um, are you serious? Come on. As if we're going to turn that trailer down though. Wow, that was the fastest gate ever? The curb stole the engine. Uh, Transem. One second. It's a funny angle. Transant, need to go now. Uh, my dog would like to go out for a walk, and work is waiting also. Thank you, Score, for making my day and a little bit brighter. See you soon. Happy trucking. Transant, have a good day. Say hi to your doggy from the nut house and Doyle. Sample Gugu, 20 months. Hello, everyone. Oh, late? What a scumbag. Thank you, Sample Gugu. For Tonic. Hello, Paul. It was a pleasure meeting at Cosford. You remember, remember me showing you pictures of my dogs. Also, what was your favourite thing about the show? I do remember your dogs, actually. Uh, favourite thing about the show was... Probably the panel I did, I guess. Because, like... <laughs> The panel was just, it, it was really weird. I don't know if you guys saw it or not. I think Durka streamed the panel using his phone. Because uh, I don't think anybody recorded it. But we did, I, I sat up front with um, Matt Davis and then these two developers. And then Wycliffe basically hosted this panel for an hour. And it had very little structure to it. So it was very much wing it for an hour. And it was quite weird. Like, some of the questions that were coming out of the audience were hilarious. But it was, uh, that was quite enjoyable. Mad Wolf. <coughs> Thank you for subbing, Mad Wolf. Welcome to the house. Thank you for your support. Thank you for the nutty welcome. Parkston Docker, 13. 
Baker's Dozen up Anniversary. Hope you're well. Keep up the great work, Squirrel. Thank you very much, Parkston. Well, if you want to see that, it'll be on uh, Durka's um, past broadcast. Past broadcast. 182 euros being four minutes late. Does that feel like a bit brutal to you? Four minutes late? No welcome GTC letter. Imagine that. Four minutes later, 182 euros out your uh, pay packet. Oh, wow. You're kidding me. One pickup. Happy anniversary. Seriously? Come on. One job? Caviar? 14 tons of caviar. Six ton Dolvario. Mm. Uh, Kevin, thank you for the resume. Welcome back. Seb? 33 months, another month gone. Keep them, uh, keep up the great work as always. Thank you, Seb. Why then? So the store had one bag of chili nuts left last night. One bag, you mean? Well, I hope you got them, Why then? Wait, why does that say fuel tanks and it's just a box? Hmm. Hmm. Mind you, that one. Go on to Christiansen, and then maybe we can get something out of there back over to Denmark, possibly. Yeah, I'm going to have to teleport to the start point of this because it's a bit far away. Mom? Yes, dear. Mom? Yes, dear. Girl's cheating again. It's okay, dear. He always cheats. Not fair, Mom. I know. He's just a scumbag. Right, let's go and pick this thing up. From here, I think. Um, there we go. Oh. You turn hype. I can't even cheat into the right location. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not Wyland. I've been away. Like I've been sick all week and away at the weekend. Come on, give me a break, Wyland. Have you shot me your knives? Oh. Okay, so that happened. Um. Okay. Like rip. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there's the pink bus. Mom. Yes, dear. Squirrel guys come up and mom, because he cheated. Well, that's nice, dear. Um. I have no idea what that was. I I, just, I do not know what just happened. Apart from I fell through the map. That's all I know. Thanks for being so polite, AI. Wyland, so the store had one bag of shields done that. Dave makes four. You missed a 50-bit message, I think. Dad, Dad, Squirrel's cheating again. Is he that nice for him to go now and fetch me another beer? <laughs> Oh, there's that pink bus again. I miss 50 bits. It's because it doesn't make a noise, that's why. Uh... Oh, it's from you, Dave. What a surprise. 
Back from refreshing shower. Now, where did I put that spare fire drink? <laughs> Wait, was it? Was it here that it happened? One second. Approach with caution. Uh, 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 uh. Warning, wet concrete. <laughs> I'm supposed to get this job? Oi! Squeeze me. That's my truck. How am I supposed to pick up this job? Can I, um... What about this bit then? Oh, God. Okay. Nope, it's all wet concrete. Let's go back here. Um, yeah, so, uh... I don't know how you can actually pick up the trailer because I can't take the job. How can I teleport in? I literally can't... I can't make the truck hover over that circle while I press enter. Alright, I'm going to try. I'm going to try and spawn in and immediately press enter and hope that it detects it. There we go. Oh, yeah. Uh, what? Are you serious? The job's gone? No way. There was like a two-hour thing and I teleported here, so what's going on? Oh, my God. Bye. This is getting really weird. <laughs> um, well, I'll take that one instead, I guess. Where's that one go? Tires or fuel tanks? I guess we'll take that one. That is the weirdest thing right there. No, it's not an early access map. This is a fully reused version. You reported it and gave promo to the video. No answer. All right, so it's a known bug then. Well, there you go. I guess that one slipped through the net. Um, I don't think the skyboxes have got anything to do with the, um, the collision areas on the ground. <laughs> That's brilliant. Why is your Twitch clip called Tentative Entertaining Habanero Pie Pipe? It's because all it does is take a bunch of words and, uh, and just add them together to create a URL. Well, that's a brilliant name. I love the end bit, habanero pie pipe. That's great. I'm sorry, Mandelsoft is not available right now. Um, left. No bug and pro mods. Yeah. Guess we've got to wait for the next patch then. Assume this is it. Set the cog and see what the options are. Um. Let's see if our uh, truck can cope with this. This is a weird pickup point. You pick up the job from here and then you drive over the road to pick up the trailer. Um, what? <laughs> I, 
I don't think that trailer's coming out of there, do you? Like, how are you supposed to turn that out of there? That's going to get really, really interesting. I'm going to have to reverse it to do it. Oh, boy. This pickup point was not made for a doubler. No, not a chance is a strong term, you know? We're gonna give it a shot. We're halfway there. We're living on a prayer. No, I'm not cheating, Sven. It's trolling me hard right now. It really is. Really? I can't see where the... Okay. I can't say I can't see where the pin is. Oh boy. It's not going to be easy getting this away from the wall. Uh, ZFWman, thank you for subbing. <laughs> welcome to the Nuthouse ZF. Thank you for your support. Thanks for the nutty welcome, guys. it away from the wall. Oh god. Maybe I've caused a bit of damage though. in the mirror don't look in the mirror don't look in the mirror yay we made it just a couple of scratches it's all good <laughs> so we reversed into the entrance lobby porch thing and then scratched the side of the trailer but other than that it was fine no damage it's all good no official damage caused in other words nobody noticed took half the shed down. Yeah, but nobody noticed. So when she gets back from a lunch break, she'll be like, who took the shed down? Not me. Doubles are stupid. Worst thing they added cars to MP. Well, that's two different things right there, isn't it? I don't think doubles are stupid. I do think letting people drive cars are stupid. But 
But that's not a call from SCS, is it? Like, the mods let you do it, so you can. Today you saw four police cars on the hard shoulder on the M1 Junction 4. Um, pretty certain I went through, though. Because I went down the M1 from Birmingham, where the M6 meets the M1, I went down to the M25. There's not much gap though. He's in Chelmsford last week. You certainly prefer Chelmsford to Harlow. Yeah, I used to live in Harlow. It's okay, but Chelmsford's nicer. A real question is How did anyone get the double in there in the first place? The plot thickens. That's a very good point. Squirrel, you missed my first sub ever. One second. I haven't got round to it. One second. We did Mad Wolf. Parkston Docker, 13 months. Baker does an anniversary. We did that. Sebel 7, 33 months. Another month gone. Give it a great work as always. We did that. Kev M. Uh, with a resume. Emma Bob 54. <laughs> That'll be the one, won't it, Emma Bob? Thank you for subbing. First sub ever. To the most professional streamer on Twitch who notices every single subscription. Thank you very much, Emma Bob. Welcome to the nut house. See, the nutters don't miss it. You always get a nutty welcome. Extra crispy, 79. 15 months, not sure. But that might be a bug. It might be. Don't start. There's just something about the AI. When it toots you, it just kind of pushes a button. Do you know what I mean? Like, all the trolling that the AI does to you throughout the game, and the moment you don't notice a red light, it sits there going, Frr. 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 And you're like... <laughs> Raged. There's something about it that just is a bit triggering, you know? This truck and trailer combo looks quite nice. Okay, that was close, not gonna lie. Bethelsen, 49 months, cheers. Thank you very much, Bethelsen. Just past your four year, almost on your bullseye. is like in New York. Yeah, they use the horns a lot in New York, I noticed. If you go to London, I don't know, I think it's a UK thing. People in the UK don't tend to use the horn that much. Um, 
And mostly whenever people do, it's taken in a very aggressive way, <laughs> which is probably why people don't do it. But I noticed when I went to America or places like Italy, like the, the horn on the car gets used a lot more. Uh, Sven, they can be pretty... Uh, it depends where you drive. Um, in and around London, people are a lot more aggressive than... You know, th basically the higher density areas are more aggressive than the low ones. It's definitely true to say that. Um, people can get, like, quite aggressive with the driving. I've seen people do stupid things, you know. Uh, Tom Bemmy with two months. Can't believe it's two months. How time flies. Thank you for the great content. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Tom. Well, no, the regulations on the horn use Westy. Like, people don't... People just don't care. Like, you're not allowed to use your, your, your horn after 11pm, that kind of thing, but in terms of in the daytime, there's no kind of... Well, there are rules about when you use your horn, but people just don't know them. <laughs> They use the horn whenever people cut them off. It's not just Essex, Michael Brown. Well, that's what that's what people do, Peter Bill. Engine audio when you're outside is just not right. I actually, Peterbilt, I was going down the motorway today and I went past a, uh, a smart car. It was in the middle lane. It was doing about 60 miles an hour in the middle lane. And it was a, uh, I can't remember what it said, but it, like, it had writing on the outside of the car. It was a company, basically. And it, there was a guy driving, holding his phone like that. Doing 60 miles an hour in the middle lane. 